hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is ken in this video as you've seen in the title i'll be showing you guys my tricks secrets and everything i use to have the instagram a very nice instagram clean thing and this is me spilling my secrets 100 percent because ever since i started using this i get asked questions like do you have a preset pack what do you use to edit your photos um well how can i edit my photos so i was like okay fine let me just do a video on how i edit my video my photos this is me spilling the secrets of my instagram feed and yes i do have a preset i created a preset by myself if you're too lazy or you don't have the time to create a preset for yourself then i have three websites two websites and one instagram page i can go to get presets but they will cost you a little just a little so the first on my list is asiemi gold asiemi gold is a blogger and a photographer from nigeria here and she has presets she sells presets that are very affordable and also they complement dark skin because most times with dark skin like most of the presets they sell for for us out there do not complement our dark skin they are either too orange or too red for our skin tone so we have to just adjust but asiemi gold's presets works for dark skin and all skin types basically the next on my list is chasing denise she's a blogger and a photographer she sells presets and if you like if you're dark skin and you want a um, preset from her website that complements dark skin i i i would highly recommend um the indino preset pack it comes with two presets they have the warm and they have the indino warm and indino cool they accept Nigerian cards as well, Master, Verve, and Visa. So whichever card you have in Nigeria will go for it. Then you should check the Indino preset. It's it's about around 1850 and you get two presets. But you know you have to just adjust it to fit your specifications or to fit your skin tone, depending on what you want. So and if you're um if you don't want to go through the process of shopping online or adding if you're scared of adding your cards or your bank details to any website i know a girl on instagram that sells presets so instead of going through the whole process of adding your cards to websites and um they deduct the money from your account or if you're too scared of adding anything about your bank to a website then she does she goes to instagram i know a girl on instagram that sells presets for affordable price like about three thousand naira if you're in nigeria three thousand naira then in if you're outside Nigeria, I think it, I don't know how much it is in dollars, but for Nigeria, it's three thousand naira, and she customizes the presets to fit your skin. Once you pay, you send her two of your pictures, and she customizes the pictures to your skin tone. That is, she customizes the presets to your skin tone. That way, you don't like worry about oh, I look too red, I look too orange, I look too green. She will make it to fit your skin tone, which is perfect and i will leave her instagram handle somewhere in the screen or in the description box so just check there and you'll get all the details for the website and instagram page that you need so the first thing you want to do is go into the lightroom app in case you don't know how to import your pictures to the lightroom app you see this plus sign here the, um, on the um, right bottom corner of the lightroom app click the plus sign with the picture then you see um from camera roll from file Depending on where your picture is saved, then you import from camera roll. So I've already done that already. So I'll just move ahead and edit these pictures for you guys. So I will edit this one. I'll be showing you guys how to get the this picture. How to change this picture from this. As you can see, it's very like dark. So I will show you guys how to edit this from this one to this one. The first thing I like to do is I like to crop my pictures to the instagram ratio which is i go to this crop feature here and as you can see you see this 3x4 so that's where you click then the instagram ratio is 4x5 so i click 4x5 as you can see it has cropped it to the instagram ratio that way if i post it on instagram nothing happens to the picture it doesn't get cropped by its instagram so i click on good and then i move into the light feature which is this one after the auto um, feature so I move into light and then um, I take the exposure to minus 40 sometimes this thing is very tricky it's very hard so just have to be careful and remember if you add if you add anything extra then if maybe I, as I used um, minus 40 if it's minus 40 to give you another a different like um, light or something 
then i take the contrast to plus 38 yeah plus sorry plus 38 yep then i take the highlights to minus 63 63 then the shadows is plus 97 uh, plus 97 yep then i go to the white the white i don't like to touch it too much so plus three then the blacks is and the black what it does is if you if you're wearing any black outfits or your you take a picture in a black background so it intensifies the black so black is plus 87 87 oops 87 so that's it for this light feature then i move into as you can see look at where the picture was and this is how we are now so moving on we go to the next one which is the color panel and then I like to take my temp to minus five and then take the tint to minus nine. Yep. Then the vibrance, I like to take it upwards to plus 31. You just have to be careful, just that way you don't add extra. Then saturation, I like to take it to minus 30. Minus 30. So that's it for here then you see this color mixer up here then you click on the color mixer so here is here is the main deal when it comes to lightroom here is where you play with all your colors and everything you want to like pop in the picture or desaturate in the picture that is fade in the picture so first i'll go with the red the hue is um minus four minus four then the um saturation is plus 35 is 35 then luminance is minus 17 Sorry. Oops. Oh my God. okay minus 17 so let me give you guys another update so this is where we started and this is how the picture is now so we'll go to the next one which is the orange the orange is the hue is minus seven minus seven then the saturation is plus 36 so we'll take that one upwards then the luminance is minus 12 then we'll go to the yellow the yellow is the hue is minus seven um, yeah, minus seven. Then the saturation is minus fifty-three. Then the luminance is plus seven. Sorry, plus seven. Then we move to green. The green, the hue is plus seventy-four. So we go down upwards, and you can see the green in the picture is popping more. Sorry, seventy-four here is the before and here is the like where we are now then we'll move on to the saturation so i like to take this one down because i don't like the grain it's popping out too much so minus 60 uh, minus 60 yes then the luminance is plus 20 so take that one upwards a bit 20 then this is aqua then the hue is plus 56 then saturation is minus 26 then the luminance is minus 12 then we'll move into i don't know if it's magenta or blue moving to the next one which is minus 26 for the hue then saturation is plus 19 Um, minus 19 then the luminance is plus 32 they're moving to the purple one um 
then for the heat you don't touch it so leave it at zero then the saturation you take it downwards minus 18 sorry minus 18 then luminance you take it upwards to plus 42 as you can see i'm already having this um very nice ones this nice picture so this is the before before we started editing and here is where we are now so we we'll move into the pink the pink you don't touch the hue you move on to saturation minus 35 and then move on to the luminance which is the last one for this panel um plus three then you click on done then you go to the effects which is the next one then texture i don't touch the texture then clarity i like to take it up to 35 and then um dehaze i like to take it to plus 28 uh, plus 28 yes then the vignette or vignette i don't know what it's called just leave it don't touch that one the rest you don't touch it then move on to green green i like to take my green i don't like it too greeny so i take it to just like 10 then the size which is already here so i take that one to plus 25 plus 25 then the roundness is already like in the middle but if yours is not in the middle then leave it at 50 which is like the middle then move on to the next one which is detail detail I like to sharpen my picture because if you take it like very up you see it like it's very sharp and you don't want that so it's i like to keep it at two and at 10 sorry then the radius is already at um 1.0 but if yours is not at 1.0 then um keep it at 1.0 because if you take it upwards i haven't tried it before but i just like to keep it at 10 then detail is 25 masking you don't touch it noise reduction what it does is it reduces the, the um the sharpness and everything you have in the background so it reduces the, the like the intensity of what you have in the background so i like to keep mine at nine then detail is in the middle which is 50 then contrast you don't touch it then color noise reduction um i like to keep it at 20 just so the picture doesn't get loud sorry 20 yes then the detail keep it at 50 then the smoothness keep it at 52 because if you take the smoothness up you look too plastic unless you want to do surgery then that's it so once you just um finish with the details then you click on these three dots at the um up right corner then you see these three dots here then you create the presets i've already created this one already so i cannot create it so i saved mine as work but then so this is how it is then you can just go back as you can see the picture here this is where we started and this is where we are so what you do is if you don't want to like keep on editing back and forth just click that three dots at the upper right corner again and you see copy settings once you copy the settings then you go to i already put this picture on instagram already and you guys liked it for those of you following my instagram so you click on that three dots again at the upper right corner and you see paste settings so once you paste it you, you see this is already like this and if you don't like the way it is maybe maybe the black is not showing up where you go back to the light feature which is that light panel that we, the first one we started editing from then you go back to black so if i take these blacks down as you can see the picture is not very dark then you can keep it in the middle or you can take it upwards depending on what you want so that is what this black does so i think i like it like this then you move then this one i've already put this on instagram already so you paste settings again as you can see this is the main picture and this is the edited one I'll show you guys how to edit this picture this picture is very dark and my face is not let me zoom in so you guys can see my face is not really showing up well but i like this picture too much that i wanted to put it on instagram which i did so i will show you guys how to brighten your pictures with this lightroom app so this is the main picture i said 
you crop it first to four by five so this is what you're working with this is what is in the frame for instagram then you click on good and then since i've already created that, that one already which is the one i created for you guys so if you don't want to do the whole copy and paste thing so after you've um, created the presets and you've renamed it to what you want then you go down once you open your lightroom app you go you swipe left then you see presets here after this geometry you see these presets here these are the ones i've created already for myself don't ask me why this one is honey and skin because i don't know so this is the one i just did for you guys which is the one below which is work i don't know why i haven't renamed it work but anyhow so um this is the preset so work once i put it here as you can see the picture is very this is the main picture and this is the way it is so you click on good since it's not that bright then you go back to the light feature then you see this exposure that we kept at um 40 then you can take this up a bit as you can see it's not very bright then since the if you want your blue to be very like detailed like blue the way it is then you go to the color panel and then you go to this color mixer up here and then you click on this blue here and then you can as you can see i took it very i took it down and now my jeans is um white or gray I take it up see it's not blue so if you want to keep it like this you can keep it like this if you want to like make it purple you can make it purple. but mind you whatever you make like look the surroundings depending on what you have there so we'll keep it like this then i don't like the blue it's too very bright so i'll take it down here a bit and then you click on done and that's it so this is the main picture this is the after so we did an entire surgery for the picture so now you can just post it on instagram and then write your captions so i will show you how to get it on light skin if you're light skin so this is my friend um so we'll crop the picture to four by five still don't always crop the pictures that way you know what you're working with and especially if you're posting it for instagram or on instagram if it's facebook or whatsapp then you don't have to worry about the cropping just edit your pictures but if it's for instagram crop it always crop it to four by five that's the ratio for instagram so you click on done and then i don't have i don't need to go back and forth to um edit the picture all over again so I, i'll click on this three dots here and then paste it so as you can see this is the main picture here this is it so my best friend looks very orange so i'll go to the color mixer here and then click on this color um mixer and then go to orange so as you can see if i take it upwards he looks very i don't know but he looks very somehow so i will take it down okay that way his skin doesn't look orange so if i take it downwards you can see he's looking very gray and pale like someone that has been cast with juju but anyway if we take it down he's very gray so we'll keep it at neutral that way his skin doesn't look all washed out so this is the main picture this is the after so if you want to like make the green pop very well like if you're talking about that wants a very colorful instagram theme and you want to get the greens the purple always mix always play with this color mixer here this is the key to lightroom then if i want if i want to intensify this green now i'll just go to the green and just increase it as you can see the green is popping out like more if i want the sky to be more blue if i want you want to do surgery on the world then you can just go to this aqua after the green then just play with it do anything you want to do with it then or you go to the blue so you don't have to touch the, you don't have to even touch the aqua stuff just go to the blue play with it as you can see if i take it down the sky is white and the plant and the trees and the plants is green greener then just see the sky is now very blue and very fine so if you want to achieve this your choice so i'll just keep it at um this then go back to the green then reduce it because i don't like the whole green green stuff so 
I keep it at um, maybe 30 or yeah I think I like it like this so I can post it this way or he can post it this way if he wants to so that's it so this is the main picture this is how it is so just go back back and then all your pictures are not always the same so depending on your background your light so if you're like i've already showed you the one the one i edited for the where i took pictures that was very dark so depending on what you're going for then that's what you will achieve in the picture so if you want to like take this one very like to darken it so you see this one the blue feature since the sky is blue so you have to go to the blue one so if you want to make the world like very blue the world very blue <laughs> so just take it down play around with it so depending on what you're going for if you go to the purple or the pink the sky is going to look like somehow so just play around with it and see what works for you then yeah that's it and then you go back but then you've already um edited it so this is the main picture and this is what it says so play around with your just the Lightroom app and this picture I took in Lagos <laughs> my love so you copy since I have not cleared the um, Lightroom app so I can see copy and paste so I'll paste this, the settings and you can see the way it is now so you can see that the greens in the picture is looking faded but if I want the greens to pop more then I'll go to the, the green feature and then see but I don't want it that way so I'll keep it the way it is and see the before of the picture and this is the after so moving on then just copy and paste that is if you want to edit all your pictures at once like me i can edit my pictures like 50 pictures in like for five minutes because i don't do too much i've already created the process so i just go and copy paste it and that's it i upload so i'll paste it here see this is the before of the picture and this is the after of the picture so it's so this one I took in Lagos, I'm yet to upload this one on my Instagram. But <laughs> I look like I want to pull inside the page, so uh, inside the water rather. So three dots and you paste it. This is my friend Alex, by the way. He takes all my pictures, so he's very good. I'll leave his Instagram in case you're in Lagos and you want someone to take pictures of you with your phone, with a camera, just go to his instagram page and just send him a message so this is alex then this is the before of the picture it's very dark and not very fine it's fine but i cannot post it like this so this is the after as you can see yep so then this is the selfie i played this one already i will leave <laughs> the before and after so um i feel this on instagram already and people were like saying i did surgery in my pictures <laughs> copy and paste it again so now i look perfect okay fine then i'll go back to the color i look very red which i don't like i like being very dark in pictures i don't know why so as you can see the saturation is in plus 36 so i'll take this one down as you can see i'm already getting darker so if i take it this way i look red or orange so i'll take it down this way and then i'll look okay then my lips i have like red lips like in the middle so it's very somehow it's okay i like it so but if i want to make it red i'll just take it up so it looks like i, I drank merinda or fanta so i like to take it down sometimes just that way it looks neutral then that this is it so I don't like my skin so i like let me take it up a little bit then i'll take it up to plus minus seven and yeah i like it this way so this is the main picture and this is it so just play around with the light map. then this particular picture i took a few days ago i put it on my insta story and let me show you guys so if i paste this one here this is how i look so let me show you guys something this is the main picture and this is how it is so in the main picture we look very dark you can see you can barely see half of my face so adding this preset to this picture now i look bright and you can see everything clearly but my face and eric's face looks very orange and his skin too 
my skin is perfect but my face i can leave mine like this because it's okay i can leave mine like this so this is it and this is it so eric's face looks very orange so i'll take the i'll go to the orange still and then reduce it so reducing it now makes him look like his king then that's it so if i want this plant this flower and the tree to be green i've told you then you go to the green so the more you increase it the more green you get in the bag in the plant you all anything green you want to paste it to so yep guys so this is how it is it looks like now after editing after eating it so yeah just play around with the color mixer and just continue playing around with it if you want colors to pop Go, that same color mixer is the key to making colors pop in pictures so and always tag me whenever you use gram so i will know how you guys are doing with the presets i hope you found this video very helpful and if you don't if there's anything you don't understand about how i edit my photos then please ask me in the comment section i will definitely answer you or go to my instagram page it's the black hem send me a dm i will answer whichever question you have to ask i'll definitely answer you so i hope you find this very helpful and i'll see you guys in my next one